Now the new lot, we are back at Lee House Cottage in Staffordshire for uh, Freddie, Adam and Steve's meet. This is the uh, Derbyshire Dales and the Staffordshire Peak District uh, national gathering for the year. So we're expecting quite a few cars here. I'm the first one here today and also I'm going to claim the first breakdown. Um, even though it wasn't officially an en route breakdown, it's just been an ongoing problem. But hopefully we'll be fixed now because previously on a meet I had actually ruined my prop shaft so here we have thanks to Freddie a fully reconditioned new prop shaft so this is the official transportation method for the new prop shaft as well as myself it sounds like David has also ruined his shaft so one of these belongs to David so he'll have to fit that later on as well. So we've now got to refit it to the car before the meet, otherwise we'll be at a slight disadvantage to everyone else. Freddie's here just washing his car. You polishing your turd, Freddie? Yep. So we're currently waiting for everybody else to arrive to the meet. So we're just going to get these few things cleared up and also a wheel change over. Got Bessie's uh, Vauxhall mechanic on job. Yeah. Fixing the Fiat. Show my new end, Freddy. A shiny new end. Look at that. Mm, beautiful. So we've also had a new sliding joint on this. Freddie's um, fitted the uh, the new rear section to it and we've got it balanced and also these are the big problem because the bearing inside there gets muck inside and the bearing gets ruined. These are the centre supports right on the bottom of the plate. So we've got to re refit all this now and then we will have four wheel drive again which is good. Yes. So, uh, Andy, it's the most clean shaft you've got there. Thanks, mate. I like to keep the shaft clean. Well, I say that, but it was the reason I was going through so many mucky holes with my shaft before that it got yeah. ruined. So, oh, dear. We've so, already had the breakdown introduction, by the way, John. So, breakdown introduction? Breakdown. <laughs> is this breakdown Andy. number one, is it? Yes. As far as we're aware. One and only, mate. It's going to be fine. It's a, it's a very long breakdown, there. though, isn't it? Gone on for a long time. Breakdown. <laughs> There's a constant breakdown. How, yeah, how, constant breakdown. How, when, when did the breakdown uh, originate? Um, <laughs> don't know about February, I think. February. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're end of September now, yeah. aren't we? So. Is the Yorkshire mate? I didn't even have four-wheel drive. Yeah. Hopefully, this will be the end of the breakdown. Yeah. Can you just can you just ride that under over your exhaust? Yeah. Pirate. That's the official <laughs> installation. <Pirate. method. laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> I'm just going to have a look at these uh, tyres since I've got my wheels off now. These are the normal tyres which we use on the Mark 2s and the Mark 1 Pandas. And these are a 14580, um, well in fact these are a 15580, but you can get them in 145 as well. And they're made, um, these ones are made by Malatesta, but you can get them from Zyarelli as well. So the majority of the cars you'll see with these on, um, but the equivalent that John's got are the new, the Extreme Forest from Zyarelli um, and these have got a different tread pattern but they've also got slightly more depth to the tread they're a more aggressive tread as well and you've found they're quite successful haven't you John? Yeah seem to be pretty good yeah and uh, they are, the only difference between the two is these are an import from direct from Italy whereas you can get these in this country from tyres direct when they have stock in so those are the two options that we would recommend. The, the other options, of course, are like a light level snow tyre, uh, like an M&S tyre, but they are quite expensive for the money you pay and they're nowhere near as good off-road as these sort of aggressive treads. And you can see John's nice uh, filler protector while you're there. Yeah, got to, got to protect you. Yeah. What's this here, John? Um, Professional repair, that is. Professional repair. That's yeah. from, that's from Freddy's, Freddy's Classics. 
from Freddy's Classics Motoring <laughs> Repair Factory. That's an official MOT repair, isn't it, Freddy? Well, no idea. <laughs> Not anymore. So this is the one you've just finished, isn't it, Steve? Yeah, I just finished it. Well, this colour reminds me of your car. It's, uh, it's on red. The, <laughs> on the orange. Yeah. He's got a Saint Leon in orange, but everyone says it's red. I'm a bit temperamental starting. I don't know. Might I do. I'm not too many cheese. <laughs> So what's this then, Steve? 100 horsepower? 100 horsepower, which probably more because there's no uh, restricted exhaust, no cat on it, is there? Two inch exhaust all the way through, a bath exhaust. Braxus uh, brakes, top. This is what you need to do, boys, get them brakes working. The 11 inch cylinder. The IS200. It's got an IS200, yeah. 20 quid each. And it just fits space to the ground, just put some spaces on and it'll fit on the clavis. It stops on the six, even if I use it at 40 hour level. But we have got discs all round. And what have you done with the back end then, David, suspension? Uh, it's uh, what you call free axle. Homemade? Homemade free axle. we we'll have to turn it off so we can hear. Yeah. Free axle on coilers. And the coilers can drop down and extend another 100 mil. So we've got coilers, uh, shock absorbers off uh, Suzuki Jeep, Vitara, extension ones, 23 inches they'll go to. And then we've got a centre yeah, tie bar, so that's your fourth, like they call the fourth link. And that allows it to twist but stay, stay you don't get any, uh, what do you call it, left or right movement as, as a uh, What's the name tie bar would do? Swing arm. Swing arm's the same length as the as the prop shaft, so you don't get no clash with the prop shaft movement. It's Audi TT it rear brakes. Uh, front panda uh, discs on the front. It's Stilo front discs with the standard panda pads, tubes. Yeah. Lexus master cylinder in. Lexus, Lexus master cylinder. See you there. And of course, don't forget the Vauxhall Combo handbrake cable system. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fantastic. And what have you done to your suspension, Adam, since we've seen you last? Ah, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be outdone. <laughs> since Dad upped the game, I decided to at least try and equal him. So I put some um, triangulating flexible shackle thingies in. Uh, I don't quite know what you're actually supposed to call them. <laughs> but, uh, that's yeah. the official name, isn't it? Yes, that's yeah. the official. Patented. Varley Inc. Patent, <laughs> patent pending. 
Oh, and with that, you have to um, also extend the dampening mounting point. As I say, you've got as much articulation as possible. Does mean, though, unfortunately, when you have more than two people in it, it starts to bottom out. But there's a fix for that. Take the back seats out. Yep. <laughs> Throw the passengers out every time you go to a good lane. <laughs> So who's had the most most hours work? The green one or the orange one? Mine on rework so far. It's had four gearboxes in it too. So. Four gearboxes. Yeah. Well, two gearboxes. But that it's that wasn't twice. That wasn't due to design. A lot of it was. Well, one was in and out. From, uh, uh, excuse I've, me. I've, that was one of those. Was my fault. One was Dad's fault. Well, technically it's mine for not putting it together, right? Oh, we don't know that, do we? I think it was just too grippy tyres, too grippy rock, too much pedal. <laughs> and then I got stuck in third gear on Sunday, so since Sunday the gearbox was out this week. And yeah, you've had the, you were rebuilding it last it. night, weren't you, Adam? And finished it all this morning. Yeah. Back in this morning. Well, last night. JCB mechanic skills. Just put a cable through you know, like when you. Yeah, you've got to give it, you've got to give it, just, just pulls the pedal. Yeah. If you're slowing down gently, yeah. it won't, right. because it's, it, it doesn't, doesn't need it. Yeah. Sounds fair. Mm -hmm. Side on here, it's mm -hmm. seven of them, it's got like a... Cool. Yeah, it is. And those two bars there... No bolt on underneath, there's onto a, there's, your There's two captured bolts on, onto the uh, sump guard. Fantastic. In theory, that's it. And have you had to use it yet, Martin? Yes, I used yes. it the other day when I rewound the winch wire on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Neither the motorhome nor the panda moved. <laughs> I wasn't that nice <laughs> <I wasn't, laughs> Can we have a demonstration? I wasn't, I wasn't that brave. I didn't, I didn't want the winch in the back of the motorhome, through the back, or the... Uh, so far, the motorhome through the front of this. So yeah, fantastic. You can just have a play, see what happens. Sunroof, if you want sunroof. Yeah, we've got a sunroof hole for sale. Okay. No, yeah, I'm the, the glass. I'm the. <laughs> oh, no, you can try and sell the hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got a sunroof. One sunroof. One house. In fact, take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just you have a temp at the same as the. You can take the hole with you as well. Mm. <laughs> That'll give you your template. And actually, the, the headline is cut as well. So, well, talk us through this project, Owen. Well, I just had an idea one day and I thought, well, I'll go and do it. <laughs> so, he's painted his car like the, uh, the, Ford, the Ford Explorers off uh, Jurassic oh, yeah. Park. That's it. And, uh, and he's done a great job, might I say. Yeah, this frame is the hardest thing to get. I mean, well, it's not perfect. It looks like a that. complicated phase. It is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A, yeah. A lot of people who do replica cars do just mask it off and then get it straight away. Oh, there's like no that. point in masking it's tape. It's, it's overrated. <laughs> it is, it is. It's totally overrated. But the view is, how, how, did you do, how did you achieve the fade? I, mean, um, I got the spray can. I did the yellow, and then I got the spray can, and I did the green. Ah, uh, ah, uh, right. So you have to slowly move further away to get the fade. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. There's no skill whatsoever, it's just go for it. Well, you're just obviously a natural. I think you've completely undermined your, your abilities there. Yeah. yeah. To be honest with you, I think you're doing a fantastic job. Well, if you ever want one done, then let me know and I'll, I'll do another one. <laughs> Well, all joking aside, it does look really good, Owen. And um, it is the way with the pandas now, obviously, they're, they're all going rusty and all the paints and the lacquers are knackered on them. And I know I did roller my old car grey, and it did come out pretty good. And it's often the way, because I mean, we're not rich people. Yeah. So we don't have the money to pay for expensive uh, spray jobs and uh, what's that thing where they put stickers stuff on it? Uh, uh, vinyl, vinyl wrapping. Wrap yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, a couple of cans from Halfords, that'll do. Yeah. And that's what you get. Look at that. The vinyl stick is yeah, yeah. the same as the paint job. Did they? So, yeah. There you Did go. They? <laughs> and you've got your new tyres, look at them. Yeah, yeah. they're ready to go. What's this for? Get on. Get, in, uh, get those on tonight. tonight. Yeah. Ah. Uh, to an RDF 4 yeah. What have you done here, Matt? 
Um, I bought a new bonnet, didn't I? <laughs> I thought you, didn't you make it? Uh, no, I got, I don't know, I think his name's just Guy. Yes, you made it, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On Facebook, but uh, yeah, he makes fiberglass arches and bonnets, so I thought I'd get one made. Is that chromed window wiper, or just painted silver? I think it's off a mini. Right. But it came on the car when I bought it. Right, and it fit? Yeah. Without any it mods. doesn't necessarily cover the entire windshield, but it fits and it works. So you've got your track tyres on, yeah. Matt. <laughs> Semi slicks. <laughs> you just changed them when you, you came off the yeah. public highway, didn't you? Yeah. 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 I thought it was just for the, uh, you know, the arrival effect, isn't it? Basically, that's all. How old are those tyres, Matt? About a few months, maybe. Selection. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a race car, isn't it? <laughs> because race car. Got some, uh, yeah. got some JDM goodness <laughs> down here. Yeah. Zip tie. Someone the, reversed uh, into me and no. snapped one of them for off. So I thought, yeah. what better yeah. excuse well, to go JDM? To go JDM. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a flashing light, you know. <laughs> because of its orangeness. After wheels had been changed over and several cups of tea had been had, afternoon turned into evening and we headed out to find some green lanes. Join us next time on UK Panda 4x4 for part two of our arrival day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>